Hello, Dickens Reads families. It is Wednesday and time for book club once again. And this week we are going to finish my favorite story, Auntie Harriet's Underground Railroad in the Sky by Faith Ringo. So last week we met Cassie and her baby brother, Bibi, and they were flying through the sky when they found an old ramshackled train. Well, BB jumped on the train, but Cassie didn't. She stayed behind. When she stayed behind, she met Auntie Harriet, who told her about the train and where it was going and how, if she followed the train, she can catch up with her brother BB. So let's jump right into the story and see what happens. I traveled through the woods and swamps. I was cold, wet, and very hungry but I could not turn back. When I reached the bridge, I hid in an un graveyard on a hill overlooking the river. It was there I found BB's toy soldiers and a set of baseball cards buried alongside the grave of a boy BB's age. I was too afraid to cry. I lay awake till I heard Auntie Harriet's familiar whisper. Wait for the railroad agent disguised as a grave digger he will say i bring you a ticket for the railroad now the tears came streaming down my cheeks like rain i would see bb soon 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 a tiny yellow house on the edge of the city a little girl my age gave me a ticket for the steam car and sold a fake pass to freedom she had made on my undershirt. It read, Cassie Louise Lightfoot, born free in New York. Show that to anyone who tries to take you back to the slave's plantation, she said. I reached the back door of the shoemaker's house and knocked three times. That time, I slept in a secret room behind the bookcase. BB had been there and left another note. Dear Cassie, I have a new baby sister. She was born today. Her name is Freedom. Her mom got sick and she went to heaven. She let me carry baby Freedom on my back. Love, BB. After a few days rest, I started out again with new shoes the shoemaker made me. Move on, Cassie, Auntie Harriet's voice told me. You are very close to the border of the free state of Pennsylvania. Look for the letter P written on the rock facing north. But still, beware of bounty hunters. They can kidnap you at any time. Until you reach Canada, you are not safe. In New York, a bookbinder hid me in a secret compartment he had built into his wagon. In a downpour of rain, he delivered me to a funeral parlor. There was a funeral going on, so no one noticed me. The undertaker gave me a withered rose B.B. had left, pressed in a book with a note. Dear Cassie, we stayed at a house of a millionaire. He gave Aunt Harriet a bunch of money. We will never be hungry again. Love, BB. The undertaker gave me a fresh cut rose, hid me in the coffin in his hearse, and took me to Niagara Falls. Now I was just over the bridge from Canada. Niagara Falls looked like a giant tea party with a billion cups of streaming hot tea being poured to a resounding applause. The steam from the falls formed a soft blanket that lifted me up, up, up above the falls and across the bridge to Canada. I could fly. I was free. I could see Aunt Harriet and B.B. with baby freedom still tied to his back, the passengers on the Underground Railroad, and women all dressed in white flying in a huge circle around them. 
We're free. We have shook the lion's paw. Aunt Harriet yelled in a voice that shot through the air like a joyous bolt of lightning. Go down, Moses, B.B. said, and let my people go, the others sang out. I kissed B.B. over and over, and I made him promise he'll never, ever leave me again. I love you, Kathy, but I had to go, B.B. said. Freedom is more important than just staying together. And what's more, I got to ride the Underground Railroad with Harriet Tubman. Now I know what our great-great-grandparents survived when they were children. That day, there was a big fest <clears throat> and a quilt celebrating the 100th anniversary of Harriet Tubman's first flight to freedom hung in the sky. People came to eat, dance, and sing praise to Aunt Harriet for taking us from slavery to freedom and for being the Moses of her people. And that is the end of the Aunt Harriet's Underground Railroad in the Sky by Faith Ringo. I hope you enjoyed the story. It is definitely one of my favorites. And until next time, happy reading.